It was 2.30 a.m. The game that ruined my life was staring at me. Its name was... Horse Life Adventures. Now available on Nintendo DS. One year ago, I played Horse Life Adventures, now available on Nintendo DS. It was so boring and repetitive that it came with a horse curse that turned me into a horse. But on November 1st, I thought the curse was over, but the horses... They never left. Shadow of the Colossus? Horse. The Great Ace Attorney? Horse. Rise of the Guardians? Horses. Plinko? Horse. But I liked it. Among Us? Flippin' Among Us. Horse. Random memes online? Horse. My friend who knew about the horse curse and thought that I was stupid to play Horse Life Adventures now available on Nintendo DS? Horse. My uncle's farm? Oddly enough, nothing. But the fear of horse was still there. If only I knew that this common animal to give me a curse would be so common. I would never have played the horse game again. So I went to a garage sale, and an old man was selling a game called Energy Horse Riders on Nintendo DS. I knew I had to avoid the game at all costs. The man said, that will be three. I'll give you ten, and then I started playing it. When I turned on the game, I picked out my horse and started playing it. it. was normal at first, but then it became a nightmare. Looking at people was the scariest thing in my life. They looked like spawns from heck. Even worse, I got lost like a horse in the woods with no owner. I was hopeless. I could never find my way out. I said to myself, Where the H-E-C-K do I ask the game is what I said to the game itself. Then the girl whose name I forgot said, Follow the arrows, Mr. Creepypasta guy. I followed the arrows and saw some more creepy people. It was something like out of a creepy pasta. And then the woman's way's name, who I clearly remembered, and I'm not telephoning you about it because you are d um said over there while here eyes were bleeding the most hyper realistic of blood, a 3D arcade edition of blood. Just like in level 4 of Lion King on Sega Genesis, which is better than the Super Nintendo version, a bunch of horses ran to me and showed me the final blue arrow to H-E-D-O-U-B-L-E-H-O-K-E-Y-S-T-I-C-K-S. It was that. I said, nah. And I gave up. But they gave me a shirt. The end. Well, that's the end of the creepypasta. Yet the horse curse lives on. By the way, it's still a real thing. Why? I don't know. But who cares? The video's done. It's midnight, and I can play on my new 2DS XL. By the way, if you're wondering, the game that I'm playing is called Pocket Card Jackie, where you can mine two of America's greatest pastimes together in one place. Horse racing and solitaire. Ride a multitude of horses like brown, 
Gray, Fire, Cat, Nerd Pac-Man, and Blue. By the way, this is not a sponsor. This is just a declaration of love. And I'm going to play it forever. And ever. And ever. Well, time for bed. And it's only 2.30 a.m. Eh, crap. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake the figgity fuck up, you dumb bitch. Oh my gosh, truly damn, a floating Nokia phone with a picture of a cat attacking at me on 2.30 a.m. on it? I am not a cat. I am shells. Who is it? It is your arch nemesis, shells. Who is it? I just told you, you pleb. It is I, shell. Who is it? T9. Of course, T9 hyphen, aka hyphen not hyphen me, my arch nemesis who told me not to play Horse Life Adventures now available on Nintendo DS on a full moon or else I would face major cringe. What do you want? It's 2.31 a.m.? The hell? I am here for revenge, for stealing my video. It could have had 5 trillion views, but you stole it, and you didn't even break a thousand views on it. Hey, I can't help it that you decided to edit in Windows Movie Maker. You shall pay dearly for your disrespect, so you will have to play my game. This is horse. On PlayStation 2, but it comes at a high price. Nah, I ain't buying another horse game. This game is free, but you have to buy WarioWare Smooth Move. Give me that fucking game now! Oh man, I'm so excited to play WarioWare all these years. I mean, it must have been like 10 years. I tried to play a game to get away from energy horse riders, so I decided to play WarioWare Smooth Moves, but when I opened the game, it was there. Horses. Clearly this was a sign from Zeus that said I was destined to play the game that would come next so I could free myself from this horse curse that still haunts me to this day. Will this curse ever be rid of? I'll find out now. I reach to the horse academy where they atomize the horses. And then my person walked into a fiery barn to save my horse. And then the guy said, Wow, I can't believe you did a good job of saving your horses. <laughs> and I said, Yeah, I'm so glad that I can ride with more horses. <laughs> and then he said, Hey, by the way, just wanted to let you know that there's a horses killer going around the school that's killing all the horses. And I said, Oh no, that's awful. What are we ever going to do? What? And then the guy said, We? And then he walked off the camera and then walked out of TV and I never saw him ever again. So then I tried to start searching for clues in order to find whoever this horse killer. Sorry. Horse. Horse. Killer is. I checked out Ginger's room. Nothing. And then I checked out Q's room. 
nothing. And then I checked out Spike's room, and he was dead. And then I had to alert the body, like in Danganronpa 3, the anime, which I don't think they actually did do that. Oops. And then everyone came around, including Esteban, and then it see the Spike's dead body who was already there. I was like, who would do such a thing? And then I saw the name backwards. It looked like Esteban's name backwards, but it could not be him. And then later on, I played through the whole game. And then there was poison in my horse. But then I looked up online and saw that was actually part of the normal game, which I thought was weird. Why would they put that into a game made for children? And then it turned out that it was Esteban who was killing all the horses. And also Spike who is now dead. Good riddance. And then I solved the mystery, just like Velma. The end. You should know that I am immune to bullets. You filthy mortal. How is that even possible? If you want to know how I am immune to bullets, be sure to leave a comment down below so that I can not answer your stupid questions. Also, if you're looking for more answers, be sure to- If you're about to say like the video and subscribe for more content, I will personally make you unalive at the end of this video. I was about to say, follow me on Instagram if you want to see what I look like and how I'm immune to bullets. So what do you want now? My revenge was never quenched. You will be forced to play another one of my horse games and suffer my pain. What the fuck are you doing? Oh well, you see, I'm playing Pocket Card Jockey from the makers of the small hit titles such as Harmonite, Drill Dozer, Pokemon, Little Town Hero, and yes, that's right, Little Town Hero, that's a game! Check out all my horses, like My Burning Soul, Dio Ray, Apollo Justice, Nerd Pack, Bling Bling Boy, Angie Boy with Gun, so many stats and abilities for your own custom horse built for you! So get it now on the 3DS eShop before it closes. Forever. You will now play Unicorn Tales. <sighs> Fine, if it will get you away from me. And you know what they say. What could possibly go wrong? Wink, wink, nudge, 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 nudge. Just play the damn game already. Okay, I will cheat. Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy, Creepypasta Guy here. And welcome back to another episode of Unicorn Tales. Today, the scariest thing just happened to me and my copy. When I turned on the game, there was a black square on the screen. It was literally the scariest thing that I ever had to deal with in my whole entire life. That is because the game that I bought on Steam is, turns out, it's the very first copy of Unicorn Tales. Okay, I'm done. You didn't even finish playing the game. I'm tired. It's 2.33 a.m. Not sure how that works, and I want to go to bed. You can never go to bed. You will play as many horse games until I am satisfied. Or if you see what I look like. But there's no hope of you. 
what are you doing? I'm making an Instagram account so that I can see what you look like so that I can go to bed. Uh, let's see here. Username fuck shills and Instagram 420. Password. Password backwards. Wait, why did I say that out loud? Skip all the other stuff to make an Instagram account. And follow the fuck is Instagram 69. And now I can finally see your Instagram. Huh. All I see is pictures of your cat. Wait a second. That's the same cat from the Nokia phone. And that phrase? What could possibly go wrong? And of course... When I was, when I was playing, playing Unicorn, Unicorn Tales, Tales, there was a, was red, a red exclamation, exclamation point, point next to the black, black rectangle. rectangle. And, and next, next to that, that was a was phrase that said, Yo, guy, just wanted to let you know, Shields is not only the famous YouTuber personality, but he is also the hit Sega Genesis character who goes by the super epic name of... Thinking I ran out of space. That is right. It was me the whole entire time. Bubsy the Bobcat. What could possibly go wrong? Ah, fuck me, it's Bubsy. That's right, it's me, Bubsy. Now you're gonna have to play my game. I get to play Bubsy Claws Encounters of the Third Kind on Sega Genesis? No, oh, it, it, it's Horse Life Adventures, now available on Nintendo Wii, but how, how, did, how did you even come to that conclusion? Oh, come on, I don't want to play another horse game. Ah, uh, cheer up, you know what they say, what could horsely go wrong? Um, I believe it's horse bully. That's it, you're going in the game right now. Wait, what? Well, here we are. This is Horse Life Adventures. All that I've done is I've galloped, I brushed the horse, I galloped, I galloped, I galloped, brushed the horse. <sighs> I, I've, I've, I've been doing this for like, I don't know, five hours. And yet, for some fucking reason, it's 2.35 a.m. for some fucking reason. That is right. right. The, the only, only way, way to get out of here is if you have a horse, horse game, game of yourself, yourself to get yourself up. Wait, I could do that? No. I, I could. I could this whole entire time. No, you can't. Yes, I could. Maybe. Yes. Well, you don't have a horse game to get yourself out. Yeah, you're right. Wait a minute, I do have one! That would be Pocket Car Jockey, now available on Nintendo 3DS eShop. Not only that, it's solitaire with horse racing, but you also get to draw lines to build up the most enthusiasm for your horse. And the more enthusiasm that you will get, the better your horse will do in the final stretch. And... And you get to build up the best boosting speed for your horse in the final stretch. And all that stuff can mean jack shit, because then the game just to fucking decides to just block you with all these fucking other horses in a way that you can't even get your horse out of the damn box. And then you end up in third fucking place. This game fucking sucks. I hate it. Don't, Don't worry. worry. I'll, get I'll get rid of that, rid of that game, game for, you. for you. Oh, well, thanks, Bubsy. Shit, he just deleted my way out of here. Oh, no problem, no problem, no problem. I could just buy it off the 3DS eShop again. Oh, wait a minute. I only have $1.14, and I won't be able to add in funds for the 3DS because Nintendo just fucking decided to not add funds anymore. If only if I pirated my Nintendo 3DS, which is easy to do, by the way, then I would be able to buy Pocket Guard Jackie and get myself out of here. Yes, yes there, there is, is no hope of defeating me now. You're, You're gonna, gonna be playing, playing horse, horse games, games forever and ever and ever until your, your mind, mind fucking crumbles, crumbles you pathetic, pathetic little, little bitch. bitch. He's right.
right. There's no hope. I'm gonna be stuck playing horse games forever and ever. Right now, I really need a miracle. Wait. There is one. There's a game on the 3DS store that is only one dollar. And it's a horse game of all things! What are, what are you, you talking, talking about? about? It is the greatest 3DS horse game ever to exist. This game is known as Horseshoe Crab Rescue. Now with the crab curse. No, not Horseshoe, Horseshoe crab, crab Rescue. rescue. What, what is, is that? that? I'm glad that you asked, Bubsy. Horseshoe Crab Rescue is a game about saving horseshoe crabs who have fallen off at the beach. Play a various amount of 15 whole levels to save horseshoe crabs who have fallen over. Learn amazing facts about horseshoe crabs, like that they have a whole bunch of eyes on them, and that they're not actually crabs. Ignore that last one. And not only that, but this game comes with a crab curse. Now! EAT CRAB CURSE, BITCH! No, NOT THE CRAB CURSE! Wait. And that is how I defeated Bubsy the Bobcat, after he made me play a various amount of horse games, and now he is inflicted with the crab curse, and I still have the horse curse with me. That is the end of the story, and that I'm, I'm sticking to it. That was an incredible story, it made me go, wow good story. But what was the point of buying all those horse games? You could have easily just make up a story for each game. Instead of playing those games hours on end. It just seems to be like a complete waste of time and money. Everywhere you look, everywhere you look, there's a heart, there's a heart. I feel it all around you. Happy Orzoween, everybody. Nuts to this. <gasps> <gasps>